The Adjust tool in Apple Photos can be as powerful or as simple as we want it to be. With an image selected, I'm going to go ahead and press Edit in the upper right corner, and then we'll see the tools that we can apply to an image appear. This video is going to focus specifically on the Adjust tool, so I'll go ahead and click on it to get started. Now, we have these three sliders available to us to adjust the look of an image. On the light slider, we can simply click and drag the bar in the middle to either brighten or darken the photo. Or, we could simply click on Auto to let Photos take its best guess at adjusting the image for us. But, we're not done yet. Let's break the light slider out into many different tools by clicking this drop-down arrow to the above right of the slider. Now, we have several different sliders available to us. When we do this, you'll notice that we've got six different individual sliders that make up the light slider. And we can pull each of these individually to adjust specific parts of the lighting. For example, if we wanted to refine the highlights, the brighter parts of an image, we could pull it to the left to darken the highlights, or pull it to the right to brighten that part of the image. Basically, these different sliders allow us to adjust specific parts of the lighting. We could go through and adjust several different sliders independently and impact the different lighting factors. If we wanted to simplify the adjustment, we can actually still use the single slider approach, even with the other bar showing. And when I pull it, you'll see that it controls the different sliders individually. So think of the main slider as kind of the overall lighting adjustment, and then the refined ones to really control detailed parts of the lighting. Now, this is also the case for the color and black and white sliders. If I click the drop down arrow for color, you'll see that it breaks out into saturation, contrast, and cast. If I pull to the right, it adjusts several sliders at the same time, but I can also adjust each individually. And the same is true for the black and white slider. When I click the drop down arrow, we have intensity, neutrals, tone, and grain to each control individually. So that's it. If you think that Apple Photos is just a simple, low power photo editor with just a few options, guess again. There's a lot more power hiding behind the scenes.